In Photoshop, you can control the audio volume levels on a clip-by-clip -clip basis. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go to Working Files and open up the Photoshop PSD files, and then open up 0402 Controlling Audio. This project has five video clips here inside that video track, and we have this one music file down here in the audio track. Now I'm going to talk about mixing audio in the next lesson, so I'm not going to emphasize that too much in this lesson, but I do want to show you that you can work on audio in multiple tracks. You can mute audio in the audio tracks. You can click this little button down there and turn off the audio for the audio tracks. But you cannot turn off audio on a track basis for the video tracks. So your video clips have audio in them, but you can't switch them off on a track basis. But you can switch them off on a clip-by-clip -clip basis, just so you know. Then there's also this mute button up here that mutes the entire project. And sometimes you want to do that when you don't want to be sort of overwhelmed by all the sound. You just want to work on the clips. But we're going to keep the audio on for the entire project and work on these five clips here. Now this is a fairly typical project. You're going to bring video clips into Photoshop and they're going to have different levels of sound. It might be some natural sound from wherever you shot. It could be loud, it could be quiet. And you can do interviews and they might have varying volume levels. So you want to try to even things out here. At least that's the goal in this particular exercise. So let me show you what I mean. These first two clips are pretty loud. Let me play them just for a second here. You can see they're very loud, and the second one is a great disparity between it and the first one. So I want to bring down the volume of both of them, and I especially want to bring down the second one. Well, you control volume on a clip-by-clip -clip basis. Let's access the volume by clicking this little flyout menu there and switching from the video to the audio, looking at a little musical note there, and there's the volume level, and then fade in and fade out. Now, it was kind of abrupt when it went from one clip to the next, right? It's nice to kind of make that more gradual. We can use the fade out and fade in as a way to make it more gradual. There's a better way to do that, and that's to use audio crossfades, but they're not available here inside Photoshop. But I'm going to show you a workaround that you can use to create audio crossfades in a different lesson. Let's just concentrate here on dealing with volume on a clip-by-clip -clip basis. So I'm going to start by bringing down the volume on this first clip. And it's kind of a hit or miss process. You really can't tell exactly what the volume is going to be until you bring it down and then listen to it for a second. But I'm thinking it's pretty loud, so I'm going to bring it down to about 25%, something like that. It doesn't have to be exact here, but right around there. Let's just see what that sounds like. I'll click away to save that. Go back here and listen to this now. That's a little more subtle now. Let's see what it sounds like to go from that clip to the next clip. Whoa, really loud. So let's bring this guy down a lot more. I'm going to open that one up, click on the audio icon there, and switch you down to maybe around 10% or something like 10%, or close to 10%. There we go. Click away and accept that. And let's listen to those guys going from one to the next here. Ah, very similar. So at least we didn't get blasted away. But since this is a closer shot, a tighter shot, maybe it would be better if it was a little bit louder. So I'm going to open it up again and change the audio to maybe around 12, 15%, something like that. And then click away to accept that. Now the audio will be at least a little different when we go from one to the next. There you go. That's more natural now. This next clip is fairly quiet. It should be just kind of a trickle in the forest, but it shouldn't be that loud. So let me bring that one down, but not quite as far as the other guys. Go to the audio section here. Maybe bring it down to like 40% or something like right around 40 or so. Go away from that one. Go from one to the next year. That works pretty well, I think. These last two are fairly quiet. Probably don't need to work on them too much. A little wind noise there. You might want to just leave those alone or bring them down slightly. So now you see that we can bring them down one at a time, but you do notice kind of this jump when you go from one to the next, kind of a hard edit. You can ease those edits by fading in and fading out. So let's go back to this first clip here. So I'm going to fade in on this clip and maybe take about a second and a half to fade in. So I'll bring it up to about a second and a half thereabouts, right around there. So it'll take a second and a half to go from silence to full volume at 26% volume. And I want to fade out as I go from it to the next clip. So I'll have just a brief fade out, maybe a quarter of a second, something like that, or half a second, right around there. And then we'll take the next one and we'll do the same kind of a thing, but we'll have a shorter fade in now because we're going from one clip to the next. Click on this. Have a brief fade in, maybe just, you know, half a second or so. Brief fade out like that as you go from one clip to the next. It's going down the line here. Click on this one here, same routine. Maybe about a half a second in, half a second out or so, right around half a second. I'm not trying to be perfect here. Let's just see how those guys work together now. I'll take those three together and see how they work. I'm going to fade out, fade in. So don't be so abrupt from one clip to the next. That worked pretty well. Try this one over here. So 
so at least they're not so abrupt. You can make those kinds of changes without too much trouble. Again, I'm going to show you a workaround to do crossfades in a different lesson, but at least you can use these standard procedures to make these little fades. Let's talk about this music track down at the bottom there. I'm going to switch it back on now. I want to have the music go with the natural sound. Let's just see what that sounds like right now. I think that works fairly well. I'd like to have that one fade up and fade out. I'm going to change the length of it to match the length of the project by just dragging this in there. There we go. I'm going to click this little fly out there, and your options will only be audio because there's no video here, of course. So the volume, I think, can stay pretty much the same. You might want to bring it up just a little bit, perhaps, just to go against the natural sound there on those other clips. I want to fade it in for kind of a long fade in here, maybe about two seconds or so, right around there. And I want to fade it out with a long fade out too, maybe two seconds, something like that, two and a half seconds right on there to fade it out. So let's just see what that sounds like now. I'll take the playhead back to the beginning by pressing the home key. We've got keyboard shortcuts on here and let's see what that sounds like now. I think that works fairly well. Let's just see what the fade out at the end sounds like here. Let's take it out to right around there. We'll try it from there. There you go. And sometimes it's nice to have it fade out beyond the end of the video. So I'm going to take a little bit farther like this. And then that fade out that we made will shift to the right there. You don't need to make it again. And I'm going to have this one have a little bit of a video transition. And so it's nice when the music fades out to also fade out the video. We'll fade out the video before the music finishes fading out. So I'm going to go back over here and get this little cross fade video transition. And just drop the fade one down at the end. It'll fade to black when this thing is rendered. I'm also going to fade it up at the beginning, too. That would be the standard procedure to open up a little video clip like this. So it fades in, keeping in mind that it fades to black, not really to transparency like that. So let's just take a look here real briefly at this guy at the end there. Pretty good. You might want to just shorten it just a little bit there just to kind of have it fit the way that that thing worked at the end. So I'm going to zoom in on it so I can get a more precise edit here. Like the left, maybe more like that. Let's see how that works now. So that's how you can control audio levels. You do it on a clip by clip basis.